Hey everybody, what's up? It's me. I know it's about that time for an update. I've been waiting for a while, um, for because I've been hoping that I would receive, I would have received the footage for Game of Death right now, but uh, I don't have it right now. And when I do have it, I'll let you know. But in the meantime, I'm going to do an update right now so y'all know what's going on. The Game of Death tournament it did finish, and um, we want we thank Donkey for coming. You know, he says he had a, a great time. Uh, we got a lot of footage apparently from Luis Child recorded. And so um, it has, you know, there's so much footage of Donkey playing versus Bart and a bunch of other people. He didn't get to play versus Kula, but Kula was at the tournament. And matter of fact, Kula did win the game of that tournament. He got first place, Ruletas got second, and uh, Kinsu got third. And um, like I say, when I get that footage, I will gladly upload it, but I haven't yet to receive it. But I want to congratulate Kula for winning the tournament, and I want to invite him to what is now titled... All versus 2010. Well, Mexico's panel was what was titled, but now uh, we change the title because I'm not just the person running this tournament. This this tournament in August the 14th to 15th is going to be my tournament, Lecter's and Daniel's, which Daniel is the premier anime con host in in Wars. So it's going to be the our tournament, not just mine. And uh, that's the name we want. We decided, which you know, Mexico's Panama provided Conejo can you know confirm re re really shortly. Will be the game or the name of it. And Hummer, by the way, has it's a hundred percent confirmed. No questions asked. He just got his passport even uh, a couple of days ago, so he has his passport booked. So he's confirmed on that, and he just even got his ticket from where he is in Japan to Tokyo. So uh, I'm gonna cover the, going from Tokyo to El Paso and back to Tokyo. But he's already got his ticket going to from Fukuoka, I guess F U K U O K A, Japan. To Tokyo, so that's Hummer is 100% confirmed. So here we go. We're gonna have Mexico versus Japan, chapter three, the final chapter. I'm working on another T-shirt design for that. Daniel's me working on more T-shirt designs and Juarez. So we're gonna have a bunch of T-shirts at that tournament, and you know we're gonna try to give out 10 to 15 thousand pesos for uh, on t for a prize money and for first, second, and third total in 2002. That's what we're gonna try to do. I just wanna give you an update on that. But um, yeah, I mean let's. Besides that, I'd want to talk about... I don't want to make this update too long. Uh, I just want to give you a quick update. But, uh, yeah, you know, we've... That's the back of this T-shirt. Um, just, you know, it's got some of the confirmed people, like always. Blah, blah, blah. We have Luis Cha. Luis Cha is going to bring the Sanwa that uh, Donkey got to use. Because I don't remember. I, I did tell you all. We gave uh, Donkey a game of death access to Sanwa and buttons. And he said he had no problems. With the Sanwa with the buttons. Matter of fact, he thinks Hummer is going to do a great job with the uh, Sanwa and buttons. So, Luis Cha is going to come up from Mexico City. I'm going to help cover him for that. And he's going to bring that Sanwa, that brand new Sanwa and buttons that Donkey was able to use. And he's going to install it at the tournament in all verses in August 14th to 15th. That way, Hummer will have his stick. That way, it again, controls will not be an issue. Now, Hummer is a, apparently number 20 in 2002. And that's closer, you know... Closest maybe this year we're going to get to getting a Japanese player of a higher level to uh, to the tournament. So, But, you know, this is it for 2010 unless something else randomly comes out. Like, you know, Donkey showing up. This tournament will be the will be it for the year as far as Mexico versus Japan. Next tournament will be Wars Wars on 2011. Now, I want to cover briefly the uh, UC right here. King of Fighters 2002. Uh, unlimited match Togeki and 2002 unlimited match OG. Now I must say I am highly, highly disappointed in Togeki because, as I'm sure y'all know, some of y'all, you know, we have people on the middle of the fence, I guess, or on the middle or whatever, determining whether we should, you know, enable geese or gonads in 2002 UM. And basically, I was hoping to the Togeki edition would solve that for us because I was hoping it would give us. No choice but to use a default and the EX characters. But they were so lazy. So lazy. Let me show you how lazy they are. First off, you see the original disc? For This is the original disc for 2002 UM. Take a look at it. I hope you see it very well. This is the disc for to Togeki. You see it? Yeah. Just a little change in the bottom. That's it. Compared to this, they look exactly the same. Yeah, sure, the books look look different. And, oh, they got the... This even tells you the bosses are in the game. They got them on the back of the cover. They got them on the back. So that tells you they're in the game. Plus, you can unlock them. It's even the exactly same 
if you look at the back, the background is not even blue. So that's exactly the same. So I mean, it's just the game. Eh. The changes in the game are not worth a 